Good afternoon, fellow island riders. Glad to have you along for the ride as always, as we meander this interesting uh, construction situation that we have going on here. Um, yeah, today the plan, pretty simple. Take a ride through town. Um, it's not every day we take our advantage of going through downtown Charlottetown. Not every day we take advantage of the fact that this has a uh, a dual purpose to it, Old Fox. Street and trail, if you will. So, we're highlighting some of the streets today as we explore and show off a bit of the downtown and city element of Prince Edward Island. So we're pretty much on the last few days of our riding season here in Prince Edward Island. Uh, any day that I get out riding is a, is a bonus day, that's for sure. You know, we've already gotten our first snow. You wake up in the morning and it's like into the negatives as far as degrees Celsius is concerned. <laughs> and uh, my rule is if it's over five, I can ride. If it's under five, there is no ride. And that's basically just to compensate for the fact that, you know, black ice is probably froze to the ground in the morning there's a lot of areas that i ride on my route to work that are uh, shaded quite thoroughly throughout the day which means that there's the potential for frost and black ice to form so yeah i try to avoid that as much as possible but you do get the odd day that the uh, temperature kinds that tends to climb a little bit which gives you a last couple opportunities to come out so I figure I'd do a nice little video and show off Charlottetown from a couple different perspectives. Um, figured I'd take it by day here and also show you by night. I'm not 100% sure how much of this video I'm going to keep. It's really just test footage. But if it turns out to be wicked in the editing suite, by editing suite I mean my laptop, um, then you know it's worth keeping, worth publishing. For most people, when they come to visit Prince Edward Island, it's almost like a landing spot. Um, a lot of people stay in Charlottetown, a lot of people eat, dine, and uh, experience their entertainment in Charlottetown. It's, it's got a very vibrant um, entertainment, and especially a really, really good culinary scene here too. Lots of excellent restaurants. In addition to all that, it's got a lot of history behind it as well. Um, Charlottetown is, as most considered, the birthplace of Confederation in Canada. If you don't already know, Canada is a confederation. Um, we're made up of a, a group of provinces that all work, uh, you know, a little bit independently. <laughs> I could say that, some could argue differently, but uh, for the most part we all the provinces all work ind independently and confederated and uh, there is a federal government which unites us all. 
Um, the federal government is situated in Ottawa. So the other side of this video was taken at uh, pretty much just at sundown, just at dusk, as I was heading to my second job. And a second job, it's not something I definitely need or anything like that, but it definitely makes life a little bit more comfortably, comfortable financially speaking, and it makes it more interesting, that's for sure. A really cool spot to explore and hang out is uh, Victoria Park, which is just over here to our left. It's got some uh, really nice trails inside that you can walk through. They host a lot of concerts and events that you can take advantage of as well. And a really cool place to walk is down here on the waterfront. We get a really good uh, turnout of cruise ships and folks coming in, which is awesome. It's really good for the downtown economy and the core and all the shops that are down there. It's neat to, uh, to kind of watch them come through here in the daytime. And it's even kind of neat to uh, stroll through here just over on the nighttime. Oh yeah, the night. Good clear night, no rain. Roads are nice and dry. But if you're thinking of coming to Charlottetown, by all means, you know, take advantage of it. Spend some time here. There's really good places to stay. The Delta Hotel is there. There's lots of inns. There's the Rod Prince Edward Island Hotel, which is really nice. We're coming up to that. That's a really cool spot to stay. But I figured to give you some something cool to look at tonight scarecrows <laughs> weird what's with the, what's with this island's obsession with scarecrows i have no idea it's creepy man look at them all i swear to god they start coming to life I'm not holding back and cow's ice cream. If you like ice cream, man, that's some of the best in the world as they have reviewed it.
pretty neat place. Pretty neat place to hang out at. You guys know any good tunes? This is a little melancholy. <laughs> Neato. So yeah, if you guys don't mind the overabundance of traffic circles. <laughs> or a small town feel and a bit of the city vibe. The Shroud Town's a great place to visit. So if you visit PEI, I would recommend making it your landing spot. Or make it your first and foremost destination. It's a great spot to kind of jump off the entire island from. A good base of operations. But, you know, there's great places to go to throughout Prince Edward Island just to stay. You know, you can find excellent inns and all the way from tip to tip. Be it if you want to go up in the Tignish area, up near West Point and North Cape, all the way to Bay Fortune. 